for Teen Titans Go? Yeah, it was fucking amazing. Holy shit. Was it good? It wasn't just good. It was, was open, by the way. We yeah, I'm on my way. Content. Yeah, I, I, it was so good. It was a movie. They made a movie where yeah, they saw every... Oh, my gosh. Dude. Okay, so the plot of that movie is that Raven is having issues with her menstrual cycle. I'm kidding. Raven is having issues with like with losing her, w- with losing her, te- her, her uh, with her temper. She keeps losing her temper, and she keeps getting like this voice telling her to just let go. And she's like, "No, did I don't." Find it? Yeah, I got it. I'm fucking here. I, it wasn't lost. No, I said, "Did she find it?" Her temper. Yeah. You said uh, she was losing. Yeah, she did, and she decided to just fucking go ahead. And she didn't choose. She didn't choose to let it go. But what she what did do, but oh, what ended up again. happening was, what happened was every time she got mad or every time like she unleashed too much of her power, the jewel on her head would crack a little bit. The objective was her dad was trying to get her to lose all control so that the gym would break open and evil her would come out. Like her pure essence would escape out of the jewel because that was basically her... uh her Broly's headband. Like, that was tampering mm-hmm. her power. So, eventually, she does just decide to, like, let it go and, and the jewel cracks. That's a lie. She doesn't just decide to let it go. What does happen is her dad comes up with this wild uh, game t- for them to play. So, like, they get abducted from Titan Tower. And then... Okay, I'm really... Yeah, you have no idea what's going on. Go through the door, open the map, do something that isn't what you're already doing. No, I know what I need to do. I need to hit that switch. Why is it running water? Oh, that's why. So, so then what happens is. Uh yeah, it's kind of, it's like the game master I think is what it was called, but basically they abduct Teen Titans, like the other Teen Titans, the first Teen Titans, the ones everybody kept busting a nut over, mm-hmm. and they have them fight to prove who was the better team, and our Robin Teen Titans Go Robin is insane, like he is batshit crazy. Like, that, that Robin is batshit crazy. So what ends up happening is he's, like, determined to beat all, like, their, 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 their alternate versions. And, like, it just is what it is. So what ends up happening is the other Raven um, realizes what's going on. She sees that the, uh, the jewel on, her, on, on Raven's head is cracking. And she keeps trying to tell Raven, like, you gotta, like, calm down. And Raven doesn't like being told what to do. And she eventually unleashes everything. And with that, she loses all of her power. So, now, uh, the, 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 the jig is up, if you will. I hope that's not offensive. Uh, but the jig is up, if you will. And what ends up happening is, uh, wow, we were, what, a minute away from the end of the episode? Yeah. These things happen. He was having such a bad time before. I didn't know how, you know, whether or not he was going to actually make it. I mean, I'll admit, like, I was just having a bad time. I was having a bad time. When yeah, he was, having a, time. Yeah, he was having a bad go of it. It was a real bad go of it. But so what ends up, so what ends up happening is, like, what's her dad's name? It's not Darmamu. What's her dad's Dragon. name? Yeah. So it's it's Teen Titan Go, ver- the, ver- ver- the Teen Titan Go version, and the Teen oh, Titans Dragon. version. Yeah, Trigon. So what ends up happening is, like, he needs her power to, like, become whole again. Which is usually how that turns out. Yeah, so the two of them basically work together. Like, the the Teen Titans Go version and the the Teen Titans version, they work together to make this happen. And I want y'all to know that at some point, like, throughout the entire show, did I I never noticed who the guy was. There was a guy playing, like, the, the, the Game Master. I didn't realize it was Weird Al. I didn't realize it was Weird Al until the fucking credits. 
until the, the credits rolled. I didn't know it was him. Uh, and so, like, and the, the, you know, Trigon is voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson, a.k.a. Principal uh, Lewis, a.k.a. Shredder. Link, because of you, I can jerk off in silence again. You thought I was going to read that normally. You silly boy. Um, so what ends up happening is like the Teen Titans are now like having to figure out how to stop him from, you know, doing this thing. The, the two cyborgs turn into a spaceship. A time, a time shifting spaceship, like a time traveling spaceship. And they go see Santa Claus. Because for some reason, Santa Claus is their arch enemy. Because fucking Teen Titans Go is hilarious. Teen Titans Go is fucking hilarious. For all the right reasons. Teen Titans Go is great. And like, there's this like epic fight between the Titans and Santa Claus. And it there's a lot to it. Like apparently Santa Claus has like lost a lot of his power since the last time they fought. Mrs. Claus is like, ah, you just gotta watch the fucking show. But, but in what ends up happening is, uh, Trigon Go is what I'm gonna call him. Basically, yeah, 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 yeah. um, basically realizes he's being a pawn, like he's being used by Trigon and he gets sick of it. And he ends up, uh, merging with the other Trigon. The two Trigons merge, is what ends up happening. Now, during all this, the only ones that are, like, actually, like, trying to find a way to stop the two Trigons is everybody in the, on both sides of the Titans, except the two Ravens, because Raven is helping Raven, but Raven doesn't have her power. And because of this, Raven has had to walk for the first time ever. Like, and this way... Huh? And her legs break. No, no, but her feet get really uh, messed up. Like just as a gag because she doesn't use her feet, mm. like she mm -hmm. she like her feet hurt, and like she's you know she it's it's really just a whole lot of like well how, it's the type of stuff you notice as a as a viewer of the show, like if you had these kind of questions that's how they'd answer them, and so yeah they do this whole thing where they go through m the multiverse of Teen Titans, and they like reach out to a bunch of different Teen Titans, and there's a gag where. Robin Go, that's what I'm calling him. Robin Go is emasculated by Robin. As, the, would as he would be because all the girls are like, he's so hot. Mm. And he's like, nah, no, he's not. Like, or whatever the fuck Robin sounds like. And uh, what ends up happening is like, they go to the Young Justice version of the Teen Titans universe where everybody is basically hot. Every single character is, they're tall, they're lanky, they got those weird DC legs. You know those DC mm -hmm. legs I'm talking about? And like, we thought you were the hot Robin. <laughs> he is definitely the hot Robin. And so now like both of the Robins are emasculated. It's funny for all the wrong reasons. And yeah, so we do like at the end of the game, fucking game, uh, at the end of the, uh, the, the movie, we get this, uh, this menagerie of like all the Teen Titans coming together to beat Trigon. Like even the comic book versions and stuff? Huh? Huh? Like even yeah. the comic book Like we even got like, it? we even got like the, uh, the, the rubber versions. By, by rubber, I mean like, uh, those old Betty Boop style cartoons. You gonna set that on fire? I'm about to say, yeah. Like, yeah, we got, we got like all versions of Teen Titans. Like the ones that apparently like are just like all fish or some shit. <laughs> That's not is what I meant to do. Oh, is that what I meant to do? You don't have the silver arrows yet. That's a fat ass fairy. That's a that's a black fairy. Look at her nose. Ganon's power will now be repelled. There you go. Yeah, because you didn't have the silver arrows. Oh, uh, so by all means, like if you don't like Teen Titans Go, just know that you're boring. <laughs> like, there's a difference between I don't like it and like this isn't Teen Titans. It's not funny to everybody. It is not a show I watch with intent. It is a show that if it is on, I will not hastily change the channel. We Bear Bears, on the other hand, I will hastily change the channel. 
because we bear bears makes me tired. Like it just does. It I don't fuck anybody. Like it's like I'm not saying the show's bad. I'm saying it makes me tired because one of the bears is basically on the lithium. <laughs> and like and he, yeah, I think so. And he just makes me tired. Like he like he just does. We bear bears is a bad edit edit edit. You know I could see that. <laughs> Like, less about jawbreakers and uh, yeah. making money, though, but... Yeah. Sometimes it is about making money. And then there's, like, fucking uh, Apple and Onion, which is, like, the most egregious thing on television right now. What the fuck is Apple and Onion? It's it's an apple. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to say these words out loud. It's a show about... It's a cartoon about an apple and an onion. You don't say. I, sadly, I had to, yes. Uh, And, like, they're friends. And they live in a world of food. Remember how chowder was good? <laughs> yeah. Well, this ain't. <laughs> Where are all that good stuff about chowder? Yeah, it ain't in this show. All of that, but none of it. Okay. It was like, because the chowder was a show about food, whereas Apple and Onion is a show set around um, food. No, the, this is a light world thing in it. If you don't get, thank you. Oh. Uh, uh. Can I not? Do you bump into it with the? Uh... There you go. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. And like, it's just these two like British characters, and I don't know what to tell you, man. The show's dumb. Like, it's dumb. Like, they're they're. T they're friends who live in an apartment and their like landlord is a falafel named Falafel. A falafel named Falafel. Yeah. And like every character in the show is food. There's an episode where they there's an episode where Mr. Falafel was supposed to fix stuff, but he doesn't want to because he's a slumlord and go and fuck him. Yeah, and so, kind of how that works. and uh, what ends up happening is they need their shower head fixed because they and they can't they can't shower until it's fixed, and they're disgusting basically. And so what ends up happening is they decide to buy their own shower head, and as they're in the process of buying a new shower head, they come across this dragon shaped shower head. And they decide that's the one they want. And the problem is they don't have the money to buy it. So then they try to come up with a way to make money. And the way they choose to make money is they see that people need jobs parking. They did, people need their cars parked. Mm -hmm. And they decide, oh, we can park their cars for them. And then they're not sure how to go about parking the cars. So Apple and Onion decide to build a ramp that drives up the like a, like up and around their building and park the cars on the roof. So they do this and the entire time their job is to keep falafel from finding out about it because it's dumb. Did you ever watch a regular show? I did. My mom for some fucking reason loved it. That show tested well with adults. Because the homeboy Rocco apparently really liked that show too. I think it was either Rocco or John. Neither of these names mean anything to either of y'all. Uh, any of y'all. But uh, yeah, like my mom liked regular show. I don't know why. I hated regular show. Because like, the way I normally describe that show is that that's for people who are in their 20s. It's college scene. It, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, my, mom used to, my mom used to be a pothead, so there's that. <laughs> so there's that. That might have been why she was in the regular show. I fucking hated regular show. I still don't like regular show. Like, I find Rigby annoying, and I find Mordecai just detestable. It's like, straight up. I find Mordecai just to be this, like, complete fucking tool. Um, I think you can uh, call shot across that. I think you can. Because there's something over there. Get a little closer. Sorry, you can't. I've lied to you. Uh. 
So they so they get the uh So they get the cars on top of the roof and Falafel finds out that they're putting the car this is the only episode of this fucking job scene. Uh and it is it is definitely how I decided I didn't like it. Is it the, is it the last show, you, the last episode you ever see? It is it, the first and last episode. So, uh, so they get the cars up there. Falafel finds out, and then he gets up there and he gets really angry, and something happens that destroys the ramp that they were using to drive the cars up to the place. I think it was like. Oh no! They have no way to get them down. It's, it's so the I forget. I forget exactly what the plan was. Like there was there was some kind of festival going on in town. It was either burgers, tacos, or something like that, which is odd because it's food eating food. Uh, but basically, like I'm people, but people did start um, coming back for their cars, and they, they had no one to give them their cars because the ramp was completely gone. And um, so Falafel decides that his way of fixing it. Because he's like really proud of the boys for being stupid. His job to get his idea to get the cars. When I tell you like this is why I don't watch Kenny and Kill anymore, because I can't, I can't. I it, 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 that. Yeah, like I. Well, it's not, it's cringy. It's not necessarily yeah. that I'm embarrassed. It's cringy because it's it's cringy of because of okay. Well, Kenny and Kill is secondhand embarrassment. This is just dumb. This is like the epitome of. This is a show made for kids. Kids are dumb. It'll be fine. That's the Triforce. No, it's not. It's the Star of David, actually. Um, is this where I jumped down? So then down. what they decide to do is... I uh, shit you not. Yeah, this is it. They decide to dis dismantle every car. And then just throw the parts down to the... Uh, Bottom of the like to the bottom of the building, and then reassemble the cars. That was the solution, mind you. This all starts because he didn't fucking want to uh fix the shower heads. That sounds right. Like you could say, well, it's a cartoon. It's supposed to be silly. No, like there's not a, there's not an episode one of Looney Tunes that's this stupid. Well, it isn't just a pickle. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to just eat shit on this one. <laughs> Who the fuck would do this to a child? Well, if I brought, like, magic with me, it would have been fine. But what child is gonna say, oh yeah, I'm gonna bring a magic I, bottle with me. Like, who, who knew that this is what I was gonna have to do? I mean, other than you. Like, if it was the first time you played the game, how would you know that's where you were, were about to go? It's like in um, Breath of the Wild when you have to, like, tame a horse that's like a like a, like a, a plot horse. Yes, those are the words I use. Uh, like, it's a plot horse and you need, like, X amount of stamina to do so. Yeah. Because I found three horses in that game. Well, I found two horses in that game that explicitly need, like, uh, a lot of stamina to uh, tame. Oh, so what ends up mm -hmm. happening after that is, like, obviously the thing that happens in video game, uh, in TV, so, like, all the cars have been, like, gotten off the roof and they all drive off, and then they pan over to the left, and they're like, well, what about all that stuff? And it's clearly just a bunch of, like, spare parts that didn't get put back into certain cars. I think I'm... That is stupid. And then at the end that of the episode... And then at the end of the episode... They don't get the uh, shower head because it took them too long. To, uh, it, it, it like the sale, the, like the last one got sold, and it took them too long to uh, buy buy it. So they didn't. So the entire episode was for nothing. It was pointless. Yes. Hello. I like so. With with that being said, if by any stretch of the imagination you find yourself uh, finding hate hate in your head. Where Teen Titans go. Wait, 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 go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. What about that right there? What's that? What's that? As far as I remember, it's nothing, but you could be reminding me that I didn't do something here. Oh, nothing at all. Okay. Oh, uh, so yeah. 
So yeah, the Teen Titans Go is great. It's a great cartoon. Like it is goofy. Like that's but that's the objective of the show is to be a silly cartoon. That's the objective of the show. And like and I feel like people fail to understand that when it comes to kid shows, everything is about being serious. Sometimes it's just about being dumb as fuck. And like, I mean We don't really have the right to complain as millennials. You know what I'm saying? We had Johnny Bravo who's the entire show was him trying to get laid. We didn't understand that at the time. I did remember like having this like epiphany as a, like a as a teenager when watching the Fresh Prince of Bel Air that the entirety of Will's character was he was trying to have sex constantly. Uh -huh. And he was very clearly getting successful from time to time. And I couldn't help but think, wow, are you really just having sex with a bunch of random women like like week to week? Is that what life is, is that? It's like is this what I'm learning about this show? Like that's what the this show is. is. What life is about. Yeah, that's what life is for him. It's just, like, I'm sure. I, I hope. I like to time. believe he was using protection, but you know, it was a, during a time when that really wasn't how you did things. What do you mean? Protection wasn't like something you did on the regular back then. Cause yeah, it was. Care. Oh yes, it was. Mm. Like, like. Well, then again, I get you got you got to understand like. For you, that wasn't a thing, but no. in the night, no, 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 stop, stop talking. In the nineties, black people were very aware that AIDS was a thing. Like we had, like we were being, we were being told constantly to use protection in the nine in the nineties. Like we were. If you were gay. No, 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 no. In general. Oh, because back then, AIDS and when I say we, I mean black people. Like we had stuff targeted at us by other black celebrities telling us to use protection. I can't speak for white people cuz I ain't white people. At least not yet. Mm -hmm. Like the, there are songs like that were like hit singles that were about people use like learned like remembering to use protection or like you know the the the, the, the dire consequences of not having protected protected sex. So he should have known to be using protection but I'm not saying he was. I am just simply saying he was told because we definitely had been told how important like protection of AIDS and stuff was. Like, like, cause even in the eighties, like we had episodes of, like the Cosby show and shit where like people had AIDS. No, that was cancer. That was cancer where that black, that white kid had cancer. That was cancer where that white kid had cancer. You gotta get the I know. I like to know like where in the game like you would learn. Oh that, yeah, that's what that I specifically, me. because yeah. it seems like it makes you uh invincible, not that it makes you not real, because like, that doesn't make you weapons. yeah you, like non corporeal. Yeah, because yeah, it, that that clearly makes you non corporeal in certain uh situations. While wow, you're singing the that's the that's the song of uh, misgivings right there. Isn't that tough? And but the same goes. But the same went with Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo was constantly trying to get his uh, get his dick wet. Constantly trying to get his dick wet. And by definition, Johnny Bravo technically should have been everything a woman uh, was looking for. He was he was broke. He also should have been a registered sex offender. To be fair. Actually, I don't think he should have. And I'm only saying he shouldn't have been. I say if you are a gropist, if you are a dude who is out there groping women, oh. that is the funniest thing I've seen in my life. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Talk about it. Well, she should stay. She should still be there. You can just catch her again. Yeah, I can just or throw her house on the Yeah. Uh, I feel like if you get your shit pushed in by the woman that you're trying to assault, you shouldn't have to be like a. You shouldn't have to register. Like, cause like yeah. clearly, clearly you have a thing. Like your thing is you know adult women. And like, so clearly you ain't trying to mess with kids yet. But yeah, if if you like grab on a woman, it's like, yeah, mm. And she then grabs you by the shoulder, flips you over her head, <laughs> and throws you onto the concrete. You shouldn't be, you, 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 you should not be forced to register as a sex offender. But you should be forced to learn some goddamn common sense and stop messing with these grown ass women who are randomly stronger than you are. 
Oh man, we're at 25 minutes. Final point we can wrap. We can wrap it down. I'm gonna get back to the death mode and then we can stop. Oh man. Yeah, fucking Teen Titans Go, goddammit. Stop talking shit about Teen Titans Go. Uh, Matt, mostly it's the thing that like the only people who are complaining about Teen Titans Go were grown men. And most of yeah. you were fat and ugly. Mm -hmm. And so like that in and of itself made it really... Is this where you want to stop? What the hell? Like, yeah. I don't... Okay. I didn't know. Mm. And that's like kind of what made it like the problem is because it came off as like, why are all these grown men angry that this cartoon for kids is a, a cartoon? And like same goes for like Power Ranger figures. Like I've seen grown people complain about the uh, the build quality of like like the paint application from Hasbro. Oh my gosh, it's so terrible! It's like these. Technically speaking, you could say yeah, these are made for us. Like the Lightning Collection is made for like older older people because it's like exclusively like the the early versions of Power Rangers. Like it's higher quality. It's like Power Ranger figures. You, like to think about like My Little Pony even cornered that market when they realized they had an older audience. They Rolling. started making specifically like higher like, articulation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, TMNT did too. Uh, yeah, they had the Rival Tech figures and stuff like that. Oh yeah, TMNT totally did the same. That they cashed in on the market of people who haven't let their childhood go. <laughs> but that with, that with that being said, that's it for this episode, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe, and take care of yourselves. Be out of here, y'all. Peace.